Hey guys, my Kurt, I'm Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. And not just any video, a very special video. And why is that? This is video number 500 on my channel, all right? So it's pretty cool to still be around doing these videos and to have the support from you guys. So for that, I say thank you. And uh, to choose a topic for this video today, we're going to go with a topic that is a very, very popular, especially with people that are new to 3D modeling. And the topic of today is N-GONs, okay? Uh, everybody is told to avoid N-GONs uh, because it's going to create trouble. And maybe some people out there say, well, what are N-GONs anyway, okay? And why should I avoid them, All right? So that's what we're going to deal with in this video. Now, if you want to talk about N-GONs, you first need to understand how a model is structured, okay? So I took this uh, Roman sword that I modeled a while back, and what we're going to do is we're just going to select it, and we're going to hit 4 for wireframe mode, okay? Now, when you zoom into the model, you see that it's the model is built by faces, okay? So if I hit 5 for shaded mode, right-click and go to face, you can see that I have the whole thing structured by using faces, okay? Now, if we zoom in a bit closer and we right-click and go to vertex, you can see that this face has one, two, three, four vertices, all right? And because of the fact that it has four vertices, this is called a quad, okay? In other words, something with four vertices. Now, what are the alternatives? You have, for example, triangles, which is obviously a face with three vertices, and you have faces that have more than four vertices, and that is called an n-gon, okay? So anything that has five or more vertices is called an n-gon. Now, why would you want to avoid that? And I get this question a lot because sometimes I leave n-gons in my models during tutorials. I get a lot of uh, comments on that, that I shouldn't do that and so forth, all right? Now, in general, it's a good practice to avoid engons, but it is not always an issue, and I'll explain why. Uh, when modeling for, a, let's say, an animation where you need to pass on your model to an animator, and especially if it's an organic model and you know that your model will be rigged and animated and therefore stretched and, and so forth, um, having n-gons will be uh, a problem, okay? So especially when you have animation going on later on, please, please avoid n-gons. It's not going to work, okay? So you could say, well, my model is not going to be in an animation, so no problem, right? Well, there's another issue that you need to avoid, okay? Let's say you're texturing this guy and you want to use an external 2D texture file, okay? So I don't know, a wood texture or whatnot. If you apply a wood texture or any other 2D texture for that matter to an N-GON and you render that out, you will probably get some artifacts going on. Black spots, uh, looks weird, um, model looks a bit stretched and so forth. So for that reason, you want to avoid that as well. Okay. Now, first of all, how do you identify in your model whether you have N-GONs or not? Okay. Now, what we're going to do with this model, and I made sure that I had an N-GON here, is I'm going to drag select my entire model. Hang on. Right-click object mode. Yep. Drag select all of it. And we're going to go up to mesh and down to optimize and to clean up. Okay. I'm going to click on that. And in the option menu, I'm going to select, uh, select matching polygons. Apply to selected objects, but this is the most important section here. I want to identify faces that have more than four sides. I'm going to click on Apply. All right. We're going to minimize that. And now if I hit 4 for wireframe mode, and I look at my model, you can see that there's one area that has been highlighted, which is this orange, orange area here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit 5 for shaded mode, right-click go to object mode, Select my blade, hit Control H to hide it, and we'll take this as well, and again, Control H to hide it. So this object looks like it contains an N-GON. So we're going to select it again. Let's go to Mesh and Clean Up, hit Apply, 
minimize that for for wireframe mode. So this surface right here seems to be I uh, got one selected there, but that's something else. This selection right here is something that is an end gone. Okay, let's check if that's true. We're going to right click and go to vertex. I'll do that in five in shaded mode. And you can see that there are a bunch of vertices going all the way around here. And, um, you know, it's more than five, obviously. Now, I'll show you a way to correct this problem. Uh, first, by simply taking a new polygon cylinder. Uh, and I'll move it over here. So if we zoom in the top here, what you got here is a bunch of triangles. Right click face, right click vertex, one, two, and three. Okay, so each face on the top here is a triangle. Now I know that there are models that are triangulated, uh, but then they typically uh, through topology have to be turned back into quads. Uh, I always use quads. I know that in certain circumstances you can use uh, triangles, but in this case we're not, okay? So how do we get this top surface from triangles to quads? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We're gonna right click and go to edge, and we're gonna click and shift click every other edge here. We're gonna go around like so. And then we're going to go up to uh, Edit Mesh and Delete Edges and Vertices, like so. And what you get now is if you right-click and go to Face, you got one, two, three, four vertices in that surface. Okay? So that's one way to go about doing that, right? Now, in this scenario, right-click Face, what you can do is... And let's see if we can approach it from not that view. Let's see if we have that view available. Actually, we really don't. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to open our modeling toolkit. We're going to scroll down to multi-cut. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start to connect these vertices. Hit enter. like so and we're going to go all the way around so that one come on and so forth until we have edges flowing all the way around and right here you can see i now have one two and one in the middle and we'll do the same as we did just now by right clicking going to edge select that edge and hit Control delete so this face has now one, two, three, four vertices. So that's how you fix that problem, all right? So uh, once again, um, does this mean that you always have to avoid n-gons? Well, if you're creating a model that you're gonna texture with shaders and you're gonna do a one image render, not gonna animate it, not gonna stretch it, not gonna apply any 2D textures to it, Shouldn't be a huge problem, but in most other cases, try to avoid end guns. Okay, so hopefully this clarified uh, the topic a little bit. And if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, that said, thank you very much for watching my videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.